Hey guys, I thought I'd do something a little bit different today. Um, I have to make an orange cake. Um, having some people over on the weekend and I really thought that maybe I could involve you guys in on that process and just see how it goes, okay? Um, so I'm just going to jump straight into it so I don't bore you all. Um, I thought I might start by just writing down the ingredients that we're going to need to make our orange cake today, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to need oranges, of course, and we're going to need two. Um, I might actually just switch my pan there with me. I'm going to use... going to use a Sharpie instead. So we're going to need two oranges, okay? So I'm going to write two oranges okay and I have my two oranges right here that I'm going to use today um, I might just take the sticker off them before I get started get this one off they're quite big oranges as well um, usually when I buy them from the shop they're a lot smaller um, but these are particularly large so we have our two oranges okay we're also going to need um, six eggs so I'm gonna write six eggs and they're going to have to be at room temperature okay and we have our six eggs right here ready to go. I'm just gonna take that. We are also going to need some sugar. We specifically have some caster sugar. And we are going to need about one and a quarter cup of sugar. So instead of having flour, we're going to be doing this with almond meal today, so it is gluten free if that is something that you're concerned about. Um, I am not gluten free, it is just the recipe that I'm following. Um, so we're going to need two and three quarter cups of almond meal. So Just one and a quarter teaspoon. Okay, so now that we've got everything we need, I'm going to start by moving my stuff out of the way. Apart 
part that's going to take the longest here is cooking our oranges and they are going to be cooked whole okay so rind and all the whole orange is going to be used and i love that because it's you know less waste so even better we're going to put in our two oranges there we're going to fill them with the water and we're going to cook them on the pot for 40 minutes which i know sounds like quite a long time but trust me it'll all work out so we're going to fill this up until they are covered, okay? So we are going to fill the cup quite high. A little bit more. Okay. I think that will be enough. They are pretty well covered at this point. They're actually starting to float. Um, so we're gonna put them on the stove top now. And I'll meet you over there. Okay, so we're going to turn on this one. I'm going to put it on our pot. Okay, now we're going to let this boil, okay? And when the water starts boiling, um, we'll turn it down a bit and just let it cook. 40 minutes and I will see you at the end of that process okay so while we're waiting for the oranges to boil what we're gonna do is just grease our, our cake pan um, the cake itself is really really moist um, and I find that it breaks really easily so I want to fully cover it with baking paper um, it's a very annoying part of the process However, I do think it's worth it so that you're not getting a really moist cake that's falling apart while you're trying to take it all out. Um, I've done that before. So, I'm just going to open it up. Um, and what I'm going to do first... That's not too bad. And then we'll get our baking paper here. And the, um, the spray oil is really just to help hold it a bit in place for me. So I'm going to get the top now and put it over the edge. We can tighten that out. Okay. So you see now it has like a perfect seal around the bottom. convenience sake I'm also just going to chop around the edges okay just to turn it up a bit while I'm waiting for the oranges to cook I'm having some pizza okay the oranges are done boiling so now we're just going to strain them out okay I don't know if you saw any of that I may have been blocking the whole screen I apologize those are our oranges now um, normally you would chop them up straight away um, I'm gonna go do some work and this is still super hot they'll probably keep cooking on the inside a little bit longer that's totally fine I probably took them out a little early anyway and I will see you guys in a few hours 
I am back. Hello, hello. All right, let's keep going, shall we? It has um, officially been three hours um, since I made the oranges. They feel soft enough, so I think we'll be okay. Um, we're just gonna dice them up a bit. And then we're gonna put them in um, in the food processor and blitz them. So bear with me. We'll just try them going to crack six eggs and pour them into the food processor. I know six sounds like a lot but the recipe says it's what Holly does. Also I'm a terrible egg cracker. Savior. Thank you. Wow. Anyway, save your hate comments. Oh my god. <laughs> I swear it's because I'm filming. But um I swear I'm usually better than this. Uh I do not work well under pressure if that's not obvious. Three. Okay. Six, five. Oh my gosh, I can't even count. <laughs> this is why I'm not doing a therapy video today. My brain. It's like minimal capacity. Okay, I'm gonna... Hmm. I really want to rinse my hands, but we're gonna... Pull the eggs in here first, I think. Let's do that. quarter cup of sugar. So that's what we're going to put in. And we'll do our and then I'll just sort of wing it and guess a quarter. I don't feel like getting a So it's getting very full. So when we mix it up together, we'll have to stir a few times to make sure it's properly going in there. Um, I'm just let's get the almond meal next. I said we'll do almond meal next, but I lied and I want to do baking powder next for no real reason. Okay, so we're gonna get one and a quarter teaspoon. I don't really know what the quarter is about. It seems like a bit of a weird measurement if you ask me, but who am I? Who am I to judge really, you know? That'll do. Okay, now we'll get the almond meal, which is convenient. Me and my person. This is our almond meal that we're going to be using, which I just got from Woolworths. That is where I normally go, and it's pretty popular in Australia. 
In Australia, I would say the main grocery places are uh, Woolworths and Coles. They're, they're like the really big competitors. Um, and there's also IGA as well. It's pretty large, but I'd say not as large as Woolworths and Coles. So with the almond meal, I stop worrying about grocery stores now that you're not going to. Um, I think it was two and three, four, three quarter cups. How did I fit all of this in? If it's going to be so full, you know why? Let's mix it as is so it's broken down a bit more and then we might be able to squeeze in the rest. So I've used one cup right now, so remind me, I've done one cup so far. I will forget. Okay, let's mix this. Bad um, boys. Okay, so we still need to do another one to be I'm going to be pushing this baby to the room, and that is okay. So I'm just going to pull some of it out, no worries. It's just, we're going to, there's a lesson to be learned about my day today. It's to, sometimes you just got to wing it. You just got to wing it. Not take yourself too seriously. Okay, loud noise, let's go again. Okay, I think we're gonna be okay. We're just gonna put Three fourths of the way now. And then we think we're good. Oh my goodness, it used to be that whole bag. This one bag is. It was a lab truck, I apologize. This bag is 400 grams, right? It cost me over six dollars. I have no idea what that is in. Um, in American money, here. don't ask, I don't know. But it would be more. Oh my gosh, this is so full. <laughs> I'm making a mess. You can see the <laughs> rim around the side. Okay, this should be the last mixing. Let's do it. Give it a stir. Oh my gosh, it is so full. It's still a little chunky. The recipe does say that it's okay if you if it's chunky. It's not it's not a bad thing. It doesn't have to be um, you know like a puree. I think I would personally just rather it a little bit smoother. Just a just a texture thing. So hopefully one more mix ought to do it. Loud noise. put that in my sink. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Alright. 
might just get a spoon and scrape those edges in. I feel like in hindsight I picked one of the ugliest desserts to make on YouTube. It looks it looks so bad. <laughs> it tastes really good, I promise. I, I know you won't get to enjoy that bit with me, but I, <laughs> I feel like I'm just going to turn you off your food if you eat something right now. <laughs> okay. This bad boy is ready. Or in the oven. So that's fun. Let's go do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And our cake is cooking. I think it's got to cook for around 40 minutes or so. Um, I have to check the recipe again and have a look and I'll just meet you at the end of that. Um, and I'll just go clean up while we're waiting. some cream and you can just have cream on the side um, but you can have it with like ice cream or yogurt or like whatever you wanted really um, yeah so that's pretty well it if you guys have gotten this far um, yeah thanks for coming along with my lo-fi chill baking video and I will see you guys in the next one which will hopefully be a bit better than today's one so thanks for sticking around.